Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. Hey, hey, I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 21st of December. Man, Christmas just a few days away. It's going to turn cold Christmas Day. But, of course, the question is, will anybody around here see a snowflake or two or three? Uh, let's take a look. Skycam shots early this morning. First off, coming from Birmingham. Looking south from the Daniel Building, the sky cloudy. And obviously, uh, we'll see a little light rain in spots uh, later today, tonight, maybe early tomorrow, but this will not be a major rain event. Up north, there's a look at uh, Memorial Parkway in Huntsville. Looks like two brave souls out there at the ridiculous hour of 5 o'clock. And way down south, Atmore, Alabama. Love a town where the railroad tracks go right through the middle of town. Uh, Atmore is almost on the Florida line down in Escambia County. All right, uh, look at that Pineapple Express Goodness, uh, the, the rains have been tremendous over uh, Southern California where they've got flooding issues. Mountain snows have been unbelievable, raining over much of Arizona this morning. And uh, we'll kind of keep an eye on that and see what happens later this week as it impacts us. This uh, lead impulse producing a few echoes on radar this morning, uh, a little after 5 o'clock. And uh, we'll see some light rain at times uh, throughout uh, today, tonight, maybe into early tomorrow, but uh, probably not all that much. Rainfall amount should be under one-half inch with this lead feature. Temperature is way above freezing this morning. 50 at Birmingham, 46 for Cullman and Anniston, 51 for Tuscaloosa. Those are at uh, 5 o'clock. And for you holiday travelers, there's your watch warning map. The uh, snow that uh, came down through the Midwest up there in the Great Lakes, that's winding down. Uh, the big issues are out west. Uh, flash flood watches up for a large chunk of Southern California. That includes Los Angeles and San Diego. Uh, winter storm warnings up for the mountains of Utah and uh, Colorado, mountains of Arizona. And uh, again, it's a uh, big wet mess out there. There's the QPF chart. By the way, the, there's the uh, radar coming from uh, uh, the Santa Ana Mountains. And uh, that rain just keeps on coming. Steady rain falling in Los Angeles. Uh, so again And again, because of the terrain, you don't see everything on that radar. Just be aware it's a mess. All right, there's the QPF chart. Expected precipitation for the next five days. Valid through uh, Christmas night, uh, Saturday evening at 6 o'clock. Uh, out west, extremely wet for California. On up into the uh, Pacific Northwest. And over here amounts uh, about one-half inch. And while we're going to pick up a little bit today and tonight, the uh, better rains will likely come Friday night, uh, Christmas Eve, with this next system coming in here. Let's take a look at it. This is the uh, 06ZGFS at uh, one, uh, noon today. And again, you can see that big trough uh, off the California coast. Northwest flow off here. little impulse coming down through that flow. Will uh, Can you tell I'm yawning here? I should not do that. That's horrible. Excuse me. <laughs> Uh, you can see a squeeze out a little bit of light rain this afternoon and tonight. Uh, we'll go to tomorrow at midday. The rain beginning to move down south, but really uh, the, the models have trended toward the idea maybe of needing the lead of a little light rain in the forecast early tomorrow morning. Uh, with the rain by afternoon shifting down into south Alabama, we might uh, adjust the forecast later today if this keeps up. But certainly it's going to be cloudy tomorrow morning, and uh, the sun might peak through tomorrow afternoon. Thursday, we're kind of in between. That should be a pretty uh, decent day. Uh, partly to mostly sunny. No real cold air involved. High should be in the uh, mid-50s. That should be a bright sunny day, if that's right. And then Christmas Eve, Friday, December 24th. Got a short wave over the uh, Midwest, northwest of the state. Down below that, uh, rain breaks out over Arkansas, East Texas, Louisiana during the day with snow. For much of Missouri, Iowa, Illinois, they'll have a good white Christmas. And notice during the day it's dry. It looks like uh, really it might be Friday night before this stuff gets in here. So it uh, looks more and more like the daytime hours will be dry with clouds increasing. And uh, relatively mild. Uh, we'll be up there close to 60 uh, Friday. Maybe some sunshine early in the day. And dare we look at Friday night at midnight when the old man, the jolly old man, St. Nick, is doing his thing. The uh, GFS depicts a surface load near Chattanooga. It's been pretty consistent. One thing about it, uh, we've got snow falling over Kentucky, 
Indiana, Illinois, Ohio. Rain down here. Uh, no instability to work with. Maybe a bit of thunder in spots, but it would be elevated, so no severe weather, which is good. And then Christmas Day starts to turn cold. Everything begins to phase up. Windy, cold. There's the surface chart. The uh, surface low begins to deepen. The uh, GFS has the thing inland over eastern North Carolina at midday Saturday uh, with snow for Virginia. And uh, Washington, D.C., Baltimore, looks like a white Christmas there. And good cold air advection. And, yeah, we see the wrap around moisture. And that's why we have mentioned the chance of snow flurries uh, Saturday morning over the uh, northeast mainly. But you can see that's suggesting maybe the whole Tennessee Valley could see a few flurries up in through there. But that would suggest no accumulation. All right, snow fans, let's look at the other models. I know you like those better. <laughs> let's look at the European uh, this is valid at noon Saturday. Critical thickness line, which is not always a true rain-snow line. You know that. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. But it's got the uh, uh, thickness values at 5,400 meters between zero, between uh, 1,000 and 500 millibars over the Tennessee Valley and a broad surface low over uh, Panama City. So this is a better snow setup for the Tennessee Valley, and this is suggesting there might be Enough snow to whiten the ground somewhere up over the valley up there. Shoals, Huntsville, Scottsboro. Um, the GFS says no. The European says maybe a little light snow for the Tennessee Valley. Still rain for us. And the model is slower. This is suggesting uh, the rain would be pretty much a daytime event on Christmas Day for us. So rain beginning late Friday night and Saturday. We'll go to 6 o'clock uh, Saturday evening on the European Familiar scene for us, uh, the, the moisture moves out as the cold air drops south. And again, there might be a flake or two somewhere on the backside, but nothing more than flurries. And the uh, Canadian, which again, I will point out, has been performing horribly this cold weather season. Uh, it's got the surface low near Valdosta, Georgia. Uh, this is at uh, Saturday morning now at 6 o'clock, Christmas morning. It's got the uh, 540 line from near Gadsden uh, down to about uh, Gardendale and uh, Tuscaloosa. And this would suggest a good snow for the Tennessee Valley uh, with maybe a few flakes and a dusting down to uh, Interstate 20. But again, we reject this one. And uh, the consistency really in all three models is pretty good. But based on the history of their performance in the last several weeks, we're going to just go with rain uh, Friday night, uh, diminishing Christmas morning, uh, turning sharply colder. That's the one thing we'll pretty much guarantee. Uh, we'll drop uh, steadily uh, down to about 40 and stay there all day. And maybe sit in the 30s all afternoon. And again, uh, we'll mention a chance of snow flurries, especially for northeast Alabama. Whenever we say flurries, that implies no accumulation. Still plenty of time to watch it. This is Tuesday. Christmas is Saturday. So we've got plenty of time to take a look at this thing. And then Sunday, back to the GFS, it's just cold. That is some really cold air coming down the pike. Uh, uh, if that's right, we'll be in the 30s all day with a strong wind and wind chill values below freezing. But it will be dry and sunny. Uh, there's Monday. Again, that's cold looking. Now, we'll be in the teens Monday morning, if that's right. And uh, by golly, uh, Tuesday, <coughs> it's not much warmer. Uh, this run is clearly colder. All right, let's go out there to uh, January 1, New Year's Day, 1111111. Uh, look at that trough coming through. Goodness. Uh, got a uh, deepening surface low near Memphis, a raging snowstorm for Arkansas and Missouri. Maybe some uh, strong storms around here, if that's right. And then on the uh, 2nd of January, cold air floods the deep south with a bomb-type low sitting over West Virginia. Uh, blizzard conditions for the Great Lakes and uh, flurries around here, just cold. You know, we, we keep watching the NAO, and it wants to go positive, which makes that, very, that scenario very much in question. And then on the 5th, uh, it's still cold. Look at the vortex up over uh, Canada. And again, uh, uh, you know, we'll see. I, I do think we're due for a pattern change here about this time, and that's going to make any of these solutions very much in question. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see. I would not be too concerned if you see uh, severe weather, extremely cold, snow, whatever, because confidence at this point is very low in anything uh, more than a week away. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.
Swiss.